Good evening, ladies, gentlemen. We have a small pickup to unbox. I am going to put you through another unboxing video. Oh, yes, they sound really well wrapped. Hmm, let's hope they're still in one piece. So, as the title of this video suggests, I have something. This is not from the British Mint. Instead, I have bought something that is from the United States of America for a change. Because, you know, I've been thinking, you know, I just want to have some different coins. I'm trying to build my silver stack, trying to get close to 200 ounces again. In fact, I think I'm going to go for 500, uh, but I want to get to 200 first, obviously, one thing at a time. And I just thought, I'm just getting sick of buying um, British coins, silver Britannias. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with silver Britannias. But let's see what we've got here. We have United States of America, one ounce silver dollar. Not bad. I think this is the first time I've bought a silver bullion from America in bulk. 2009. Nice little mark there on the coin and a bit of uh, toning and milk spotting. Lovely. Now, we are going to find that probably every single one is probably going to have some issues. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that bad boy there. That's lovely. That is just what you expect to see. That's got to be one of the worst I've seen. We'll have a look at that one again in a minute. Um, this one, not too bad. Not bad. One out of four. Okay, that one's okay. These are all 2009 Silver Eagles. And um, the reason I bought these is because basically I thought I want a silver coin that's not from the Royal Mint. I want it to be American. I want it to be at least 10 years old. I want it to have some vague numismatic, semi-numismatic value about it, but not anything too hardcore, which is going to mean I'm going to have to pay you know, insane prices well over spot. I don't mind paying a little bit more. But, um, so, these popped up and they fit the bill quite nicely, you know. I do appreciate the fact that they've got some issues there, we can see on the Eagle, you know. Um, but, at the end of the day, it's just silver bullion. I mean, we're too, too precious about it. I don't think we'll be setting the world alight with these ever, and you know, it's just, you know, they are what they are. You know, they're very nice coins. Unfortunately, they have taken a bit of a hit. I think. I think these have been fondled quite a lot. Um, let's have a look at this one here. It's, I was aware that it was going to be like this, but this is possibly one of the worst. It's almost like somebody tried to set fire to it. <laughs> Oh dear me, that is that is that's that's quite a good effort that. But I'm not, you know, I'm not expecting putting this in an NGC slab and then you know expecting somebody to pay mega bucks for it. It's just it's just silver. It's just the accumulation of silver, and this is what it's all about for me. It's just ticking over, picking up silver when you can, and not being too precious about it. This might be my new sort of like desk fondling coin. Actually, you know. I like to have, I don't know if you like to have like a, a bit of silver or gold, generally it's silver for me, but that I just have on my desk that I just sort of twiddle. I, used, I did have a Britannia, um, it's around here somewhere actually. Where is it? It's gone. I should have been interested to compare it with this, but um, anyway, yeah, I think this will do nicely and I'm not really worried about that. So we've got quite a good price on these. We paid, uh, works out about £28 a coin. So 
spot price now is about £20, and by the time you bought from a dealer, paid that, you're looking at £33 a coin on average in the UK. I mean, £28 a coin is still quite expensive. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I was looking at the historic gold price, uh, silver price, and you know, I know we were up twenty-five pounds a coin at one point, nearly. We are down from that, but I don't know. It's actually quite hard to find uh, when I go to coin shops and go out. I mean, I am there walking around with some money in my pocket, thinking, you know. I go in these antique shops, coin dealers, thinking, oh, I want to buy some silver. Here I am. I want to spend some money and buy some silver or gold. And there's just nothing. There's just nothing in these shops. Most of them. It's just absolute tat. So, you know, got a chance to get my hands on some 999 silver. A bit different. It's nice to have something, you know, I could say that. Uh, this this stuff is, I don't have to be too precious about this. This can go out the door when the time's right. Um, and it, it's just building up, you know. I think this is the way to do it. Um, yeah, you could wait and prices might drop. And you could have picked them up for £18 a coin, you know. Next week they might be £22 a coin or whatever. You know, plus that and premium, you know. So... Let's just, um, you know, just be grateful that we've got this and, uh, you know, and just keep on building that stack up. So that's it really, just a short video, little pick up um, and uh, let me know what you think. Is this worth saving? Would you do anything with this? Do we think, at the end of the day, if I was to take this into to a coin dealer and sell it or whatever or send it back to a an online bullion dealer, whatever, I want to get rid of my silver, are they going to turn around, how much am I going to lose off the price for this, am I going to lose anything, is it just go to spot because of this, or, you know, what is the general feeling on this, obviously, you know, the toning here is not great, but I just see it's just silver, it's pure silver, 999, not too worried, I think there's one of these, out of all of these, I think there is one coin I think which is in decent nick front and back I'll have to go back through them later all the rest have got issues might be this one actually can't see I wonder whether it's just because um, yeah that one's pretty good actually pretty good you know there's always um I knew what I was buying, so I wasn't expecting them to be perfect. That one's not bad. Anyway, I'll start waffling on. 10 one ounce 2009 Silver Eagles, 999. And um, I will uh, see you all again soon. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, have a great rest of your day.